Hey everyone, welcome to This Week in Barranquilla with Mike Chartres, and that's me. We're here today in beautiful Barrio Abajo, and I want to start this week with a quote by the Dalai Lama, which is simply that our purpose on this planet is to help each other. I heard something the other day that just blew me away. I, I heard that people here in Colombia actually have to sue to get services that are legally indebted to them. Right. So what's amazing, to me anyways, is that people, Colombians, have accepted what I consider to be a travesty of justice. You, you know, you've got EPSs are organizations that are sponsored by, that are paid for by the government. And if they're not providing the services that they're required to provide, what's going on? I mean, who is accountable for that? Who has responsibility for that? Okay, so the other big issue that just blows me away is that here in, here in Colombia, 2,000 kids per year are diagnosed with a blood-borne disease or cancer. 2,000. The most amazing part of that is that 50% of those kids pass away each year. 50%. It amounts to around 1,200 per year. Now, these deaths are preventable. Uh, in more developed countries like Canada and the U.S., it's a uh, mortality rate of about 15%, 15 to 20%. It's, it's uncanny, it's unbelievable. So what are the challenges? Well, there's two primary challenges. Number one, kids are dying because they aren't diagnosed soon enough. And number two, kids are dying because they don't have access to the services they need. So, luckily there's a ray of hope. Uh, Andre and Vanessa House for Kids with Cancer is a phenomenal organization that was started about four years ago. And what they do is they offer housing, transport, food, etc. to families, uh, to low-income families that don't have any other choice. Modeled on the famous Ronald McDonald House, which is uh, a well-known charity for kids in the United States and Canada, uh, Foundation Andrea and Vanessa offers essentially the same services. Now, here in Barranquilla, they have space for 26 people in total, so that's 13 kids and 13 adults. In the last year, or rather, since they started four years ago, they have helped to support 100 families. An amazing task. So, Andrea and Vanessa Foundation is an awesome charity. It's a superb cause. In June 2015, La Revista Huela Social of the newspaper El Tiempo placed Foundacion Andrea and Vanessa in the list of the top 40 foundations to give charity to. Now, that's of a list of 20,000 foundations across, across Colombia. This one was selected as being a fantastic charity. So how can you support them then? Well, uh, they accept anything really. They accept food, money, clothing, furniture, uh, anything that you can offer. Additionally, they're always looking for volunteers, people who can come and play with the kids, perhaps take them to a movie, which I might add is something that many of these kids have never experienced. Hey everyone, welcome back. We're here on Cadetta 50, which as you can see in the background, uh, is under construction. We're actually right here in the heart of Barrio Bajo. Uh, the construction is happening because, if you recall, Cadetta 46 was narrowed when they installed Transmetro, and this led to enormous traffic problems. Well, this new street is gonna have four lanes, uh, three meter lanes, I might add, so it's gonna be enormous. Plus, it's gonna have a bicycle path, it's gonna have uh, benches, it's gonna, it's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna have a fountain, it's gonna be fabulous. So the hope is that this new street will solve the traffic problems and beautify the neighborhood. So interesting fact, Barrio Bajo used to be the second most important neighborhood in Barranquilla. Also, people here are referred to as Bajaros. Now here's something interesting that we actually, if you can, give us some information. 
Why was Barrio Bajo once referred to as Lower Manhattan? 